Well, it's Friday afternoon. The wind's been blowing most of the morning. Nobody went detecting in the bay. A couple of guys might have went on the bay, on the ocean. My guys, uh, nobody went that I know of, of my group. It's been so bad, we just haven't been. Danny and uh, Low Tide Tim, I shouldn't say haven't been. They went yesterday and the day before. And they all had to mumble, so we've just been taking it easy. I'm getting ready for the night gig tomorrow, setting my truck up. I don't put anything in it but the tables and the stuff from the signs and all. I got a few knives I picked up this morning from a guy. I got to get ready. I bought a stand for my buffer. That's a new buffer I bought a couple weeks ago. It's a little skill for not very much money. It turns like 3,400 RPMs. I thought I was going to like it, but I don't like it. I hate it. My old buffer is a Verbal Speed Craftsman. And I use it, at, you know, at the shows, I use these nylon cleanup wheels and the wire one to clean up a lot of that yard gear I get. The lopers and the pruners and, you know, to get all the sap off of them. And I was hoping to take this one and use it since it's on a nice stand and but it, I bought some, I already had the shaft extension, so I've added those to it, but that makes it really move around a lot. <laughs> that thing can jump around like a Mexican jumping bean. So I'm probably not going to use it at the show. I'll just use it around here. Okay, now, the buddy, uh, he's ready to go look. <laughs> he keeps them lined up. I picked these knives up about an hour and a half ago from a guy. Uh, two shuns, a uh, heckle, and a nice serrated global. I sharpened them about 10 minutes ago, so I wouldn't have to worry with them tomorrow. The shuns were, uh, as you know, had a lot of microchips along the edge of the blade. Well, we got rid of all them and they're really nice and sharp now. So I got my first customer for Saturday, so to speak. Got to take it back to him tomorrow afternoon after the gig. That's about it. I'll wait and see y'all tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. To be continued. Well, I'm making my way to the knife gig. You see, gas is 211. It's uh, 27, 207 in a few places. Diesel's 249, and diesel's uh, the place has got 207. He's 269 on the diesel, so he's cheap on the gas, but high on the diesel. It's an ominous day today. Clouds everywhere, rain expect. Look at that big cloud right there. Gracious me! I don't know what the day is going to be, but they're calling for rain this afternoon. I hope it is this afternoon. The ring man. Uh, He's a big race fan, of course. He's going to go to Richmond International Raceway today and watch the race. If it don't get rained out. So he's on kind of like a standby right now. He may have already left to go to the race because he leaves early. But I haven't talked to him, so I don't know where he is, actually. Or what his plans are. But we'll see, have to see. He'll give me a report in a little while. Stand by. First customer is Kershaw. A little sharpening job. Number two. I just got through cleaning them up. Now I got to sharpen them. Number three is a nice Wustoff. A hankle. Another hankle. And another hankle. But boy, this baby is. Looks like one of them shuns. Can you see the chips in it? Let me just move it over here. Look at that. Only at the tip. Something bad happened to it. Okay. Number four. Five. Global. Reminds me of that little uh, heckle we looked at a minute ago. Saw blade global. 
now this nice heckle is chip free okay stand by my first ever white handle Ustos pretty cool aren't they this one's got a bad nick in it you can see it not actually a nick it's just a bend in the blade white handle Ustos I like them Well, number seven is uh, some uh, different kind of knives. It says technique on them. I never run across any of these that I can recall. Yeah, it says Ch a Japanese stainless steel. I don't see the. Uh, you know what I'm looking for. And then they got a caffel on. It's got some chips in it cooking 8 inch chef's knife and then they got a nice global she says the global is relatively new but it's duller than a loon but it has no chips it has not a microchip anywhere on it but it's a pretty knife okay back to work you see the market is bleak on this side not many vendors and it's the normal ones are all over that, but it's a little slow today. I guess the weather was scared them away or something. Paint's still here. Now look, glory. There's glory in this bag. Look at that. Oh my God. I don't know exactly what's in here, but we're getting ready to take a peek. Stand by. Look at that. What do we got here? We got a big ankle. A Wustoff Boner, Wustoff Para, Zabateer Chef Knife, Original Pro something, I can't make that out, Serrated Knife, you know where you got that from? Here's another magic line, that's a fine ticket, and a nice utility Wustoff. And yet another little para. It looks like a heckle. No, it's one of them other kind. It's one of them ones I can't make it a name on it. Okay, I got to go to work. It's 11.30, so I'm, I'm on a tight borderline here. One, two, three, four, eight. Okay, I see you. Well, I'm home. We had a gully washer over here. While I was gone, I guess. I had to drop those knives off. You remember those two shuns and that serrated uh, global we had from yesterday? Me and Jack, we just delivered those. We had to go to Home Depot, pick up an axe handle. That big axe we got a couple weeks ago. While we were out delivering, we got a phone call from a lady. We got some knives in this bag. I'm not sure what's in there. Stand by a minute. New axe handle. Well, there's that axe all sharpened up and painted. Let's see what's in this bag. This piece of book that they were in. Oh, a gathering. A gathering of taquitos. It looks all, oh, that's a woost off. Oh, they mixed up. Hankles. This is a big, these are old babies. Hankles. Hankle and a hankle. So we got four hankles and a Wustoff. Pretty cool. We got some action for tomorrow. Let's see, and I got to put this axe on, so I'll get back to you in a little while. I get home. Chris has picked up some knives. She's giving them to me, you say? I got some Chicago cutlery ones as a gift. Let's see what else is in this basket. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's not a Chicago cutlery cleaver. Yeah, it is too. Vegetable cleaver. Pretty good. I like it. Well, we got a big chef's knife, a slicer, and a cleaver. In this bag, I know these are globals. I don't know how many or nothing like that. Well, it looks like four globals. No, five. 
This one's in, I've sharpened these a year or so ago, so they ought to be in pretty good shape. That one's good, that first one was good. These two are good. This one might have, this one might have a little chip or two in it. And the last one's a little teeny one like we did last weekend. It's in good shape. So we got five globals, a gift of Chicago's, and these uh, four heckles and a Wusthof to do tomorrow. Okie dokie. Stand by. I got the axe on. I've been driving it on for five minutes. She's ready to go. See you later.